you think is it gonna be complete if it is? Oh. Wow. It's so tiny, what is it? Oh, Reeves. Reeves, London. So that means, sorry. So that means that would have been ink. I cut, maybe coloured ink or... Oh, that is perfect for using for my watercolours though. That is such a tiny, lovely little bottle. It's so tiny. Excellent. And actually up here, I think I see a tiny piece of pipe stem. Nothing on it though. But I'm very chuffed with that bottle. I've already dug this up. Ah, it's all encrusted. Shame. Someone's feet. <laughs> it's a long time since we've been here. That's an odd thing. What is that? It's very, very heavy. So there's lots of little bottles here. I think some of them are melted. Oh, there's a little pot. Hmm. He seems in quite good condition. What's that Eiffel Tower? Fruit juices. Mainstone, little pill pot. Um, if I think about him. What have we got up here? Oh, it's quite nice to be back to bottles. What's that one? <laughs> Liam Perrins. I don't need that one. Lots of those. Well, that's really gutting. And this one. But I wonder if you're shouting out at me because I came to look at these and I spotted an exciting find. One that we haven't found in a long, well, while for us. Is it complete? Yes! A gobby! A lovely green one, an alley gob, a jack, a five stone. It is a Victorian games piece. So they would have played the game by throwing them up in the air and scooping or throwing and catching in the back of your hand. Yeah, they make um, modern day sort of metal ones and plastic ones. That's amazing. Brilliant. And actually, just also by here, is that a coin? Yes. Yes, it is. I wonder if we'll be able to get anything off it to see. Hmm, any other tiny finds around here that we can spot? Tile. Hmm. Things with the words. I think these are all from, like, burners. Cute little bottles. Hmm. Think about those too. Oh, look, there's a man. <laughs> I don't think something left him like that. <laughs> He's just thinking. Where's his head gone? I imagine. <laughs> Couple of little bottles here. Mm, that one's chipped around the top. About this tiny weeny one. <coughs> ah, it's broken too. Shame. Oh, there's a bit of a pipe bowl there. Interesting. No. <coughs> this is a place to find pipes though. The pipes down, are you writing? No. Pipe would be nice. This complete. Oh, it is. Mm, it is just plain though. I don't think we need it because we've got quite a few. But it's a very cute little bottle. I will leave it here for someone else to come along and get. Tiny little melted bottle.
Okay, is that complete? Oh, it is! Is it cracked? Oh, I like that. I don't think... Is that, no, it's, nope. Ha! Definitely good for the allotment, even if you just... I mean, terracotta isn't great for planting plants in because it dries out so quickly, but it's a, just a pretty thing. Okay, then my pile's growing. <laughs> Not used to big things. I saw something over here. I need to get my tool. Where was it? Is that another pot? It is another pot. I don't think we need all these pots. Kate's finding and makes making Kate's making happy noises. This is finding fairly generic. I'll put them all here and see how I feel. I need to find the interesting things. Okay, there are a lot of stingers and thorns around here. Oh gosh, yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, that's a ha, deceptive stinger without any leaves left on it. Is this going to be worth it? Oh, sorry, the leaf. Terrible piece of filming. Ouchie, 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 ouchie. Oh. <laughs> no, I thought it was going to be a tiny jar. Oh, well. Quite, quite, quite stung for that. <laughs> so, we don't need any more bottles. Oh, unlikely it's a bit. Okay, yeah, it's really broken, but it's very beautifully frosted. But actually, under it, I think, is the first one of the day. Might be the only one. A bead. A little peach one. Amazing. If it wasn't for that bottle, I don't think I would have spotted that. Oh, and some fun mushrooms. Does that look like a coin? Oh, is it a coin? Or is it a... Oh. Um, I think it could be a coin. I need to put my glasses on. I need to go to the... I won't rub it anymore. Oh, coin. Cut nails. Cut nails powder. Cut nails. Ooh, never had that. heard of that before. It's probably very common, but we don't find a lot of bottles. I've already looked at that one. <laughs> I might put that on my maybe pile. Oh, Liam parents. Oh, oh, of course you have. <laughs> Is this the top of one of those little bottles? Or was it a swan? Oh, oh it's part of a D-bot. The D-bot's belt. Oh. I think I can tell that it's broken on the other side, which is unfortunate because I've become completely entangled by thorns in my hair. And I think I might be a little bit stuck. I might need mum's help. She's stuck. I'm getting stuck though. Ow! In the process of getting you. Okay. Careful your hair. I don't know what the filming's like here. Okay, we'll keep your head down. Can't be going down that way. <laughs> Are you filming now? Or am I filming you, you go down the hole? <laughs> <gasps> yes, that was that was just. <laughs> was it a basket? No. Acorn? It's I'm not. I'm um, fur cone. No, it's just like um, feathers with rope and bubbles. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I know I've got some in mine. There's one on the camera as well. Okay. I'm backing out now. Looks like an interesting piece of metal. Probably a hinge of some sort. 
We can take it and so I can see it looks like. I don't know. I'll take it and see. I think I might have found the shirt. It looks interesting. Oh! Sorry, K Cricket Club. Ooh! Cricket? Yeah, Kennington Oval. Huh. Never found a sports club before. No. That's really cool. That's definitely the shirt. Yep. Nice, we haven't found a shirt for ages. Here comes the rain. And it's raining. But there is also a bead. Excellent, a little clay bead, and we're under the cover of the trees, so not much rain is getting through. So we just get to hear that nice sound. A pipe bowl sticking out. Anything interesting on it? Ooh, it was quite long. Oh, it's not. <laughs> uh, teapot's about. An odd ring. Anything on that? Oh, I think it's got letters on it. Oh, what's that? Okay, that has definitely got letters on it. Oh, I'll take that. That looks really interesting. Really interesting. Oh, goodness! Wow! It's weird, isn't it? Yeah! It looks quite cool. That looks really cool. Yeah, it does have writing all yeah. over it. I picked because I thought I'd found a pipe bowl, but this was underneath it. It wasn't uh, as about, so yeah, that's the way things work. Mm -hmm. Cool. Rain comes again. That's really pretty with the little rosebud too. Mm. It's really nice but I don't know what we do with it. Maybe someone will come along and can think of a craft for it. Okay, I'm not sure this is, you're going to be able to see this, it's so dark, it's raining quite heavily now but luckily we're under the tree. But that is a beautiful is it going to focus? Look at that. It's a beautiful bottle that would have been. Oh, such a, sorry. <laughs> it's such, it takes a long time. Oh, it's all stuff on that side too. What's that say? Wow. Mm. That is just a bit disturbing. <laughs> Don't think we'd be taking that. Leave it there. <laughs> That's such a shame. That would have been a beautiful flower pot. Sorry, it's struggling to... It's a pretty big grim here now. <laughs> it's a bit dark and rainy. But that would have been amazing. Down here by my feet, please excuse the rain. Um. <laughs> oh, it's a tiny little lid. I don't know if it's from a doll's dish or from maybe like a salt. Do I don't know. I don't know if it's a tiny human one or a doll's one, but it can be used for a doll's one very easily. And look at this beautiful. Oh, that would have been such a beautiful cup with the hand painted ribbon bow. really quite raining now, but is this complete? 
Oh, it is. But it has a crack in it, unfortunately. Mm. It's really dark and rainy now, and you can barely see. But is this colander complete? Hmm. Could I still use it as a, for a plant in lo in the allotment? Mm. I'm not sure I can, unfortunately. Mm. I should turn. I can make that a little bit better. To turn the exposure up on my camera because it's so dark in here. But look, there's a. Oh, it's chipped on the back. Hexagon Victorian floor tile, but it's chipped. Lots of leaves in my hair. I've got so many sticks in my oh hair. Oh my goodness. Okay, we should probably. Yep. Been rained out a bit. Yes. So. That was a good stuff. We did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another leaf. So, this week's shirt is from the Surrey Cricket Club and it says Kennington Oval. So, brief history of cricket to start with. It is thought to have evolved from bat and ball games played by children in South East England during the Middle Ages. In 1611, King James I gave to his eldest son Henry, Prince of Wales, the manors of Kennington and Vauxhall, where the home ground of Surrey, the Oval, is today. And to this day, the Prince of Wales feathers feature on the club's badge. Cricket became well established in Surrey during the 17th century and the earliest village matches took place before the English Civil War. Wow. It is believed that the earliest county teams were formed in the aftermath of the Restoration in 1660. The earliest known first class match in Surrey was Croydon versus London at Croydon on the 1st of July 1707 and in 1709 the earliest known inter-county match took place between Kent and Surrey at Dartford Brent with £50 at stake. <laughs> Does not say who won. Oh. Surrey would continue to play cricket against other representative teams from that time onwards. The Surrey CCC, the Surrey County Cricket Club, was founded on the evening of the 18th of August 1845 at the Horns Tavern in Kennington, South London, where around a hundred representatives of various cricket clubs in Surrey agreed a motion put forward by William Dennison, the club's first secretary, that a Surrey club should be formed. Um, a lease on Kennington Oval, a former market garden, had been obtained from the Duchy of Cornwall, which owned the land, by Mr Horton, and the ground's first game had been during the 1845 season. So their first inter-county match against Kent was held the Oval, and Surrey emer oh, there you go, emerged victorious by 10 wickets. Ah. However, the club did not do well that year, despite the extra public attractions at the Oval of a walking match and a poultry show. Yeah, nice. A oh. walking match? Yeah. It's a walking match. Honestly do not know. Do people walk racing? I will, I will look at <laughs> Walking matches, a 19th century competitive sport. Competitive walking? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said! <laughs> Competitive walking was an international obsession with large competitions being held in major cities. What? Also known as pedestrian matches, <laughs> became a fad during the 1860s in America, but being held in many major cities across Europe. Thousands of onlookers in larger cities paid to watch walkers compete in one of two ways, a set number of miles in the shortest time or the longest distance in a set amount of time. So speed walking. Which is still a yeah, thing. Yeah, it's still a thing. It's still yeah. a thing. For, so speed and not just who walks the best. <laughs> <laughs> a w so here, this is in America, but a walking match, there will be a walking match between Charles White and Richard Myers at 3pm on the 9th day of May 1868 at the Scott County Fairgrounds. The distance to be 10 miles for 25... Does it 
only $25? That's an obscene amount of money. That must be wrong. Or, yeah, it's sort of a blub. Um, a side heel and toe to be their common gait. <laughs> the walking will take place if the weather permits. The young men are to be training for the race. <laughs> so, a walking match. Sorry. <laughs> At the start of 1847, this club was £70 in debt and there was a motion to close. Oh. Um, they then proposed that six life members be created for a fee of £12 each. And the club survived because they did that. Oh. Hmm. So, yeah, that's a simple thing. I mean, then it goes, there's a lot about cricket. And yes, Surrey has been a big deal in the cricket world. The Kennington Oval, I believe, is where the Ashes were invented? I don't know. I think that's... I think... I think it's that. Um, yeah, the vast majority of Surrey home matches are played at the Horace at the historic Kia Oval Cricket Grounds in Kennington, South London, which has also staged international cricket since 1880 and was the ground where the Ashes were born in 1882. Since then, every great cricketer in the world has played in the shadow of the famous gas holders which overlook the ground. We will have put some pictures in to show yeah. why it's called the Oval. Is it Oval? I think it's round. I think it's a circle. <laughs> Investigate the oh. Oval. <laughs> oh goodness! <laughs> no, we don't have to investigate. Let me just quickly see. It could see. be any reason. It's the Oval. It's just telling me about cricket. So, so if you type in why is the Oval called the Oval? In 1844, the site of the Kennington Oval was a cabbage patch <laughs> and market garden. <laughs> Surrey's ground is noted as having the first artificial lighting at a sports arena in the form of gas lamps dating to 1888. Oh, see, I'm learning other things going I down the path. The area is known for its cricket ground and gas holders. The land here was from the 17th century used for a market garden. The name Oval emerged from a street layout which was originated in 1790 but never completely built. Oh. That's, that's why. Weird. Thanks. That's okay. So yeah, the whole place is called Oval. It's a borough. Oh. No, no. There's an area in the London Borough of Lambeth. Right. It's weird how names stick. Hmm. Even though it never was actually, was actually yeah, Oval. Oval. So there, and I will talk some more about that shirt in, in the, the round roundup. In a minute, because <laughs> we've already filmed it. Um, but I will say that I cannot find any examples of that pottery anywhere on the internet of any Surrey Cricket Club pottery. Maybe we should email them, see if Maybe. they want it. Because it's obviously from like when they sort of first came around, 18, you know, it's late. Because it's quite Victorian. Late, yeah, it's like early, early 1900s, late 1800s. And that's like they were formed in 1845 or whatever. Mm. Well, that was a trip back to a bottle dump that we haven't been to for... Well, since last... It was like... January? Spring? Yeah, yeah, like January, just, February, yeah. just turning to spring. Because that is the bottle dump of evil <laughs> mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah. When the time that mosquitoes live. Huge mosquitoes filled with nasty stuff. Yeah. So... We do not go there anywhere near summer <laughs> or spring. But we got to go back and we were rewarded and we're so excited and we can't wait to go back again. And Yeah, when, it, it, when it doesn't get rained out. I mean, it, yes. I oh. have never been that wet in my whole entire life. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, driving back. Yeah, just puddles of water. Flooded yeah. roads everywhere. It was, yeah, yeah, it was not fun. It came down very quickly, didn't it? Yes. and there, yeah. Out of nowhere. Yes. We're very, very wet. <laughs> There's a bit of a walk to the car from yeah. that location, so we got... <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we are but... excited about going back when it's not mm -hmm. raining. And we're excited about the things we found. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I... Well, what's your favourite find? <laughs> um, well, my favourite find is the, the best find. I do quite like my tiny little um, Reeves ink. It's cute. It's an ink bottle, isn't it? It's yeah. like a miniature one. 
yeah, I really like it. It's really cute. I'm holding it upside down. <laughs> yeah, it's really cute. I like it a lot and it'll be very handy for watercolours. So what's your favourite find? Well, something... Oh, no, I, I, we were quite excited when we picked it up. Mm, yeah. But it's the... It's a half a belt buckle. And it would have had like a circle that linked into it at the edge would have looked like that one too and it would have gone on together if you see what I mean we'll show a picture of one similar but we have no idea what the middle bit would have said no could have been a picture or a crown or yeah but we know what this side says and it says dreadnought ready boys so it's, it's fairly evocative mm-hmm and we can't find an example of this anywhere. No. We can pretty much date it pretty well, yes, though. Yes, we can. Because a <laughs> bit of history. Yeah. The Dreadnoughts. Um, they, the first, well, there was an HMS Dreadnought. That was the first Dreadnought, and it was built in 1905. And it was sort of the kickoff of a sort of naval race between lots of different countries. And we managed to build the dread, Dreadnought in 1905 and it sort of sparked a whole new world of the Navy. It made everything before it, it absolute, 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 <laughs> obsolete, um, and it um, started an arms race between us and Germany and Japan. We were obsessed with the Royal Navy because it protected us. Mm -hmm. um, Winston as Churchill a, as an island as an island yes mm -hmm. it also protected our trade routes mm -hmm. and so it was really important to us and um, no other nation was as reliant on navy as we were and <laughs> I'm sorry I'm trying to figure the dreadnought and her successors went on to form the backbone of the grand fleet described by Churchill by then first lord of the Abbey as the crown jewels and at their assembly prior to the outbreak of war as the greatest assemblage, assemblage of naval power ever witnessed in the history of the world. But that's not what I wanted. Here we go. No well, other major... you just skipped some like, yeah, six no, different just, words just, in just, that just, sentence. Stop, stop, stop. You just stop using, you just stop using nouns. <laughs> and then you just skipped a whole word stop, to get it out. <laughs> oh my God. I really should write this down before I start. I thought I knew it. Um, no other major nation was so reliant on its navy for its wealth and security. Lord West described the dispar disparity for us supremacy at sea was fundamental for our survival. For them, it was just nice to have. Okay. That's the line I mm -hmm. wanted to say. From West, not Churchill. Yes, no, it wasn't Churchill. Churchill said okay. something else. Yes, he did. <laughs> okay. Cool. It was a very important boat. I but mean, I could go into... Am I right in assuming am i right in that they ended up not being great dreadnoughts it only, during the war we actually had one battle <laughs> the dreadnoughts mm -hmm. um but it, it was the idea of it yes it started a whole different mm -hmm. class of warfare at sea basically mm -hmm. but yes it wasn't they didn't really they didn't really last very long they had mm -hmm. pre-dreadnought dreadnoughts mm -hmm. and post-dreadnoughts and it was the post-dreadnoughts that were the better boat they didn't okay. they literally were just they were built in 1905 and then they were pulled apart by the 1920s what's the saying the saying is uh fear, fear god and dread naught and yeah. um, as in dread naught literally the literal meaning is fear nothing yes so well that's what the, the mentality of it was it was such a big boat mm -hmm. and could fire the point was it could fire over great distances. As I was saying, you could I could go into the details of how many guns it had and why it was superior, but I'm not going to. <laughs> you can go and see how they were. Like I say, they they weren't they didn't work very well. It was difficult to control the shot because it was so far, at such mm -hmm. a big distance. So it's a belt buckle. Yes. And the only the only thing we obviously like ready boys, as in. They're sailors, they're ready. The only sort of connection I could even remotely find is the lyrics of Heart of Oak, which is the official march of the Royal Navy of the United Kingdom. 
It's also the official march of the Canadian Navy. Oh, that's weird. Well, well it's not really. It's no. not weird. It's not, it's not weird at all. Actually, <laughs> no, it's no. Not, it makes Sorry. perfect sense. <laughs> My brain is just not working today. <laughs> <laughs> the Canadian version is slightly different, but the R version reads, Come cheer up, my lads, tis to glory we steer, to add something more to this wonderful year. To honour we call you as free men, not slaves, for who are as free as the sons of the waves. And then the chorus... Heart of Oak are our ships, Jolly Tars are our men. We are always ready, steady boys, steady. We'll fight and we'll conquer again and again. So it could be, but I don't, yeah, it's, it's odd. It is odd. When did this song get written? Why? The Wonderful Year reference in the first verse is 1759 to 60. Oh. They were battling. I was. I wondered because then there's a because then the next verse is um, about fighting the French. So obviously the the version has the changed. lyrics have changed yeah. since 1759. But yeah, the the ready steady boy. We are always ready steady boys steady. Ready it's boys. The closest, all, yeah. It's the closest thing I can find. To, it's not except the book the the dreadnought boys. Yeah. But that's Australian, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's not called Ready Boys, it's just called no. the Dreadnought Boys. So if anyone, could, we've taken a picture in Google search, we've turked in everything we could possibly think of and can't find any, any examples of it. So no. if any of you have any ideas, please let us know, let us know in the comments down below. But it's very exciting. Dreadnoughts are cool. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Very well, rare, imagining, I imagine. Yeah. And I'm imagining, although unfortunately it's missing half of it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the other house there, we can find it. Maybe. <laughs> so yeah, I imagine it's a young sailor's belt buckle. A navy man's belt buckle. Yeah, I don't know if it's like someone who served on a dreadnought, or the mm -hmm. dreadnought. I don't know. I, I, yeah. There, was, there were no dreadnought belt buckles nope. of oh any description. God. Well, I'll share it. I couldn't find any pottery from Surrey Cricket Club. Really? Yeah, except for a mug from 1928. And it didn't look like that. But where's the Kennington Oval? In Kennington Surrey? Oval is in London, and it's, you know, it's the most like the most famous cricket... Oh, it's, cricket. it's just the Oval? Yeah. It's just called the Oval now, yeah, it's not yeah, called the it's, Kennington yeah, Oval. It's the Kennington Oval, yeah, it's the most oh. famous cricket. <laughs> What's that, where's Surrey Cricket Club? I see, I know nothing. That's because we do the... <laughs> Insight, we film the shirt stories after we film the roundup, so you all have already heard all of this information, but Mum has got it all to come, so that's exciting for her. <laughs> um, so yeah. yeah. So that is our very exciting belt buckle, and by far I think the best find of the day. But the best find for a while. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um we've got a gobby, coins, one is one is a franc. Hmm. Second. Mention of France this video, oh. strangely. The other one is George, um, our little... George the what? I knew you were going to ask me that. <laughs> I haven't looked. I can't see. It's just, I can see that it's a George. It's George. It is very corroded. Yeah, and now it's going to be bad because I should just know because it's probably... I'm going to say George V. Okay. No one will ever know because you can't no. see it. <laughs> Beautiful decorative pipe bowl. With little bumps in the feathers, a lid. A really beautiful bottle of um, Cutnow's powder. Unfortunately, Cutnow's powder is for stomach and hemorrhoids and pneumatism, all of all of the all of the nasty stuff. <laughs> but it does look nice with the flaps. But it does look very nice with these zinnias that we uh, cut down from our allotment earlier. Well, you just poured water over you. I did. <laughs> um, some pots that are always great. And I'll have to show you that in a separate shot because it's too big. Your amazing plant pot. I love this flower pot. I have never found a complete terracotta flower pot ever. So. Uh, that's, have we? Yes. Oh no, we have got one on We've, our desk. No, I've got one in my room too. We found two uh, small ones, but oh, not like okay. a full-sized proper... Are you proper... sure you didn't find them? No. Oh. 
but a full size actual like really usable the little yes. ones are only good for sort of cuttings and yeah but that's a proper that's... flower pot mm -hmm. and you can see where it's been hand turned and you know mm -hmm. done on a wheel um yeah it's really nice it's really good condition victorian mm -hmm. terracotta mm -hmm. amazing pot. yeah nice so i think that's all to talk about with the finds we're very excited that the bottle dump is available to us yeah, again. It's back again. <laughs> um, we can't wait to go back and we can't wait to take you with us. Thank you as always for everyone that likes, watches, subscribes, comments, all of our brilliant Patreons. We couldn't do this without you. They are exciting. I know we say this all the time. But it's actually <laughs> really exciting things in the works. <laughs> So, yeah. Thank you for everything, and we will see you soon. Bye! Bye.